Hey, what's up, people? Welcome back to another episode. Uh, it's looking a little different right now. Uh, we are doing the trading episode today, and we just loaded up a recent save state. I uh, went to load game here. I think this was from episode 35, where we just had that invasion. Uh, so things are going to look a little different. I'm not going to save this island. It's, it's our same island back from where we were, kind of traveling back in time. Uh, but the reason why I wanted to do this is I wanted to start fresh with trading. Uh, so if you're playing your own game, if you're on your own save, and you just progressed to modern times, you're going to be right here with me. So let's do it. Residente, the cold Today's war July 27th, over. so the we're a little ahead on the recording. And the present will uh, okay. The cold war over. Yeah, we're not going to worry about Constitution. This option here does actually impact trading. We ask an expert. We'll talk about that next episode. That's going to be next episode. Uh, yes, sign the Constitution. Like I said, I'm a little ahead on, I'm a little ahead on the recording, and there's our wonderful... Uh, we just finished that, uh, the invasion from the Western powers, I believe. So we're back at that. You see, we're at 845,000 right now. So, uh, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to invite five. I'm going to make sure the customs office, it's fully staffed. Let's increase the budget and take the tax evasion. Boom. All right. Anyway, we're talking about trading. Let's think about politics. We got five superpowers, right? China, Russia, USA, Middle East, EU. Uh, relations are all at 52 right now. Well, that's fine. That's fine. What we can do, though, is we can bump this up with some trades. Uh, what do we got? Let's look at trades. Let's sort them. You can sort by import, export. You can sort, sort by trade partner, by name, all this other stuff. I'm, I like doing it this way. Uh, because I'm going to scroll down to the imports. What do we have? Uh, do we have any exports, first of all? We have cheese. We have cheese and canned goods. We are producing. Now, if you're on your own island and, and you're producing electronics, uh, which I don't know if you can even do that that early. Is that a... When can you produce electronics? I don't even know. I don't remember. Uh, pharmaceuticals. I mean, go for whatever you're producing and exports because you're already shipping that out regardless. You're already shipping it out. Might as well sign a trade deal. Uh, Russia wants some canned goods. Of course, we'll take that. China needs some cheese. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Now, 11% above standard. What does that mean? Uh, the customs office is at full budget and... Uh, we, oh, that's the immigration office. And we have five workers here, and we're on stimulate exports. Now, we could do reduced import taxes. That's actually a good one. That's actually a good one. We're going to change this up. So we just signed a couple of exports. <laughs> now we're going to reduce import taxes. I didn't really do that intentionally, but look, now this is all down to 5%. This is all down to 5%, man. It was a 10%. Uh, but let's look at imports. Uh, we're down to 12% here on imports. That's pretty good. Uh, it, it matters, man. Look at this. Minus 13 juice. Hell yeah. I mean, we were producing juice, but we're not right now. So let's take this. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, let's actually look. We took a trade route from China and Russia. So China's up to 55. Russia's up to 55. USA, Middle East, EU are down to 48. Why is that so? Uh, well, let's look at this. If we do this through EU, plus five standing on signing the contract for EU. So that's great. We get plus five. But look at all this, man. Minus two, minus two, minus two, minus two. Well, that's not worth it, is it? It is worth it. Uh, because once you get farther and farther on, you're going to be getting plus 20. You're going to be getting plus 10. Um, and this is plus five here for completion. So you actually get plus 10 total. So, yeah, let's sign that. And let's look again. Now, okay, China, Russia is still fine. EU is still fine. USA and Middle East aren't too hot. But that's also going to go up plus five. We're going to see a 58 here. We're going to see a 58 here. Hypothetically, we're going to see a 58 here, and these two would stay at 46. Unless we can find another deal. We have some plastics and some planks. These are not the best trade routes. And the reason why is because 7,000 units, that's going to take a long time to fulfill. Not that long. Um, trade routes, if you only have one dock, things will take... 1,000 units per, per uh, freighter. So we just signed... What are the deals that we just... What, we, what did we sign? Uh, juice. So this is going to take... Three shipment cycles... No, four shipment cycles. And it depends on how many docks you have. If we... I, it's going to take... We only have one. If you had two, it's going to be split 500 and 500. So what that means is... Let's look. Next arrival time, one month. In one month, this is going to get... This is going to complete 1,000 out of 3,400. If we had two docks, it's going to complete 1,000 out of 3,400. There's not a huge advantage for having multiple docks with trading, unlike Tropico 5. The advantage is we have a dock over here, so all of our Teamsters on this side of the island just export things right here. They don't have to drive all the way down this freaking road to ship out things at the dock. We have a dock down here for them, 
to do that. So trading, it doesn't matter how many docks you have. It's going to take the same amount of time, basically. That's that's to summarize that. So don't go building like 12 docks around here. Um, anyway, so new trade routes happen every year. So in, at, at the top of the year, in January, we're going to see new trade routes. So we're going to wait on that. Uh, you know what? Actually, hold on. Hold on a second. We got embassies. Let's focus. We need to really focus on this entire episode. We got two embassies here, right? Let's go ahead and build. Let's go ahead and build all three of them. All, or all five of them, excuse me. Uh, I'm, I don't really care where this goes. It's not that I'm not saving this island. So let's build all these. We'll, we'll let them build on their own and give our construction workers something to do. Uh, so what did we do here? Uh, USA and Middle East both don't like us. Uh, let me oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna keep that paused. Uh, USA, Middle East both don't like us. So you know what? Let's invite them. They're at 47 right now. Let's invite USA. They're at 52. Let's praise them. Boom. They're at 62. Just like that. And we can praise every two years. It's only $5,000 if you need it. Uh, Middle East. Let's invite them. Let's praise. Boom. They're at 62. How's everybody doing? Just like that. We're already, we've gained ground on everyone. And you can see this is starting to go up as we are getting shipments in. All right, so let's go ahead and get on to the new year. We'll check the new trade routes right now. Boom, January 1943. What do we have? Uh, we have more canned goods. I'm already shipping that. Do we have a rum? Because we are producing rum. No rum. That's fine. Uh, what do we have? Look at aluminum down to 9 to 17. And again, the reason why is because of the customs office. The customs office is the reason we're seeing such cheap imports right now already. Oh, uh, look at this. Chocolate. Chocolate minus 17. Go ahead and always take the lowest quantity starting out until you get 100 relations. Take the lowest quantity. So, boom. Plus 7 now. So, we're getting plus 7 on signing, plus 7 on completion. That's plus 14 once this deal is done. And only my, and only minus 2 to everybody else. Hell yeah, we're taking that. Uh, what else do we have? Plastics, man. These aren't really that good. Um, mm, that's going to take so long, man. But you know what? Let's do it. Wait, do we even need it? EU? Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do the plastic. It's gonna take a little while, and we'll, we need to purchase all these anyway. Let's purchase all these guys. Unlock, and like I said, we're gonna go in the hole start because I'm doing this so quickly. But I'm gonna show you guys. It's not clickbait. I'll never post a video of clickbait on this channel ever. Uh, but I'm gonna show you guys how you can make money just on trading. And this might be a little long this might be a pretty long video so feel free to skip around if you if you have an external keyboard if you're watching on a desktop or laptop you can hit the l button and fast forward 10 seconds every time so go ahead and hit l right now if you hit the l key it'll fast forward 10 seconds as long as you're on as long as you're on the screen ambassador zhang is coming in clutch right now guys i told you that they, they didn't it they didn't do this when i wanted them to when i was actually recording the modern times episodes now they're doing it we got a demand. Invite China to the embassy. Well, hell yeah, we will do that. And we've got an embassy right here. We just built one for them. Look at this. So let's let's take a look here. We actually built all three of these embassies. So let's go ahead. I'm not going to wait for all of them. Uh, China's down to 54. US, Russia's 56. And EU is 63. So remember that. 54, 56, 63. Let's go ahead and invite China. And we get the demand. Uh, we don't get the standing bonus. Uh, we'll take the Swiss bank. Why not? Um, so let's go ahead. They're at 69. Let's praise. Boom. They're at 80. Look at that. Russia. What are they at now? 56, 64. Same thing. Or maybe that's even higher. We'll take Russia and praise. Now they're 61. Now they're 72. EU. Nope. That's a trade route. EU. They're at 75. Now they're at 86. So boom. Build all your embassies. And all of a sudden, when you build all your embassies, spend a little money to praise, and look at this, guys. Look at the relations. We're at 80, 72, 84, 63, 86. It's only been, what, two and a half years? Two years? I don't even, I forgot, what it was, was it 1942 when I started? I think it was 1942, so it's been like one and a half years, has it? Uh, we're in January. Let's check trade routes. What do we got? So, actually, one thing I, I kind of forgot about, um, if you take, we, we see how the plus 10 is here. It's starting to go, it's getting a little better, man. Remember, that was plus 5 when we first started. These deals were only plus 5. Now it's plus 10. What happens if we do this one? It's plus 15. This one, plus 20. So you're going to see a bigger impact. But again, this is probably the best one to do, even if you're producing cars. Uh, because if you can get car, tr if you can get trade routes for cars every other year, every single year, at this low of a quantity, you're just going to automatically keep gaining standing. Um, so let's look at... We have rum now. Oh my god, look at all this rum. Look at all this rum. We could sign all three of these, honestly. 
I think we might. We might sign all three of these. But let's look at what we got. We got apparel. Oh, that's a great trade route. China's looking good with us right now. We'll take apparel. Uh, we'll take a car. We'll Look at this. We'll take cars. Minus 17. We'll take it. Look at this. Minus 27 on chocolate to the United States. Do we want to... How, is, how are they... They like us right now. They're only 80. They're only at 80. Uh, they probably dropped just a little bit on those two. We'll take the chocolate from the United States. EU, minus 27. Minus 27. What does that mean? On 2,225 units, we are saving $6,000. And by saving, we're gaining $6,000 because we're importing this 27% below the market and then exporting it at base cost. Or if we had a trade route, we'll talk about that in just a second. But let's keep it going. Let's try to get all these relations up to 100. So let's see how that is right now. Uh, we do have ROM. Who is there anybody that's low? Russia's kind of low and Middle East is kind of low. Uh, we'll take the Middle East. We'll, we'll utilize them. So let's keep going. And like I said, guys, we're pretty much just skimming through. No, I'm not doing anything related to happiness or related to what we did in the uh, original videos from Modern Times. We're just focusing on trading. So kick back and relax. This might be a bit of a long video. I'm not sure how I'm going to cut it out. Uh, but anyway, if, if I don't cut this part out, I hope you guys are really enjoying the series, man. I appreciate it so much. It's been such, it's been a really fun series to record. I had, I didn't really know how long I was going to do it for, but we're having a lot of fun. So look at this, man. Money, let's look at money. We just gained $41,000 on that freighter, but I don't even know if the money adjusted. Well, why is that the case? Let's look. Expenses, imports. We're, we're look at the imports here. We have imported 18,000 worth of chocolate, 11,000 worth of juice. 6800 worth of plastic we are exporting things though so we're producing rum we're exporting all that uh we're not producing juice we're not producing chocolate we're not producing plastics so all those imports are now getting exported it is a bit of a cycle you're going to see a bit of a delay because things have to import and then export you're not going to see just cash instantly it's going to be a bit of a cycle so if you if you only have like eighty thousand dollars don't go too crazy with this focus on your economy uh, don't go too crazy with it, but we're going to show you guys what's going to happen. Uh, and look, we've got $54,000 of expected revenue just sitting in there waiting. None of this is anything we're producing. Apparel, chocolate, electronics, cars, plastic, all that is shipping out at base at base standard cost. But we imported it a little cheaper. It's ba it's just the market, guys. It's, it's like stocks, and we'll talk about that in just a second. And look, another good reason they just took away, <laughs> they took away a th uh, uh, hundred apparel, probably to stock in the uh, grocery. So you do actually gain happiness by importing. You can import things and gain happiness. And look, now the money is coming back up. Look at this, money sixty-one thousand, and we've got more coming in. The apparel trade route is done. What is this? All my Gu guys, workers I, can, I think I had to do this in the last one. I'll take a convincing talk. Produce oil. I'm not producing oil. I'd like to think. Uh, we'll just keep him happy for now, man. Uh, I'm waiting until we get to the new year. Ah, my friend, the Presidente. The great Build a size L uh, park. Uh, I guess I could do that. Yeah, we'll do that real quick. So I mean, yeah, you, you I would never discard these. And we got fires. Of course, we have fires. Why would we not? What is a size L park? This. I think that's Middle East. I hope that's Middle East. Resident, yeah, it's Middle you East. Are a good friend, <laughs> what? But my ennui is that's what we get? Do not we get a free me. XXL park for building a park? Come on, man. I'll take the 2000. Swiss bank. All right. I'm going to I'm just going to ignore the fires. We've had quite the quite the scene with fires in this in this series. Now we're still getting treasure hunts, man. Research stuff is coming through. I haven't even uh, we'll talk about this in just a second. I promise. All right, New Year. Let's see what we got. Let's check our politics. Oh my God, we're at a hundred. We're at a hundred relations with China, and with USA, and with EU. That's pretty good stuff right there. I'm gonna show you guys why. Hopefully, we can get some good trade routes here. So, what do we got? Uh, we got plus twenty for exports. What? But I don't care about the exports right now. I want to look at imports first. Minus twenty-seven apparel. Oh my God. Okay, here's where we're gonna have to do some math. Here's where we're going to have to do some math if you guys really want to see the profits we're about to make. So I will be right back. All right, so we're going to go ahead and accept this guy right here, the 32,000 export for apparel. And I'm going to show you guys the breakdown and the math on this and show you exactly how much you're going to be making. We'll cut to this hopefully right now. All right, guys, we're going to do a little math. 
Um, hope you all brought your pen and paper. Uh, just kidding, I'm gonna do it all for you. So anyway, uh, depending on where I cut the video out, we uh, just signed the apparel trade route, right? Uh, I forgot which superpowers it was to. We imported this amount from, I actually, no, I think this quantity is wrong. I think it's actually 30,500 and 32,000. I think I'm actually off by 500 here, but we're just gonna ignore that. Uh, pretend this is the quantity. It's maybe $500 or 500 off. Uh, anyway, so import costs. We are importing the apparel at 95.70 per 1K units, and we signed a quantity of 30,000. So what this means is that we are importing 30,000 units at a cost of 95.70 for 1K. So how much is that actually? We could do the math on this. Uh, 95.70 times or let's do it this way let's do 30 times oh that's the end sign where's the there it is times that all right so that's how much we are spending on this import deal right 9750 is the cost of 1k well we didn't buy 1k we bought 30k so multiply this number right here by 30 and that's what you get all right well we're going to export it at, for a profit we're going to export it for a profit we signed this deal with someone I mean, the eu maybe i'm not sure and we are going to export this now we did sign the quantity i think it's actually 3200 we're going to have uh 15 yeah see i got this part right i screwed up this this should be actually be this should actually be 32,000. so this is a little off so don't just ignore this part but we're going to have basically an extra 1500 or 2500 units left over regardless we're going to have to sign another import deal to fulfill this trade or else it's going to sit there about 90% full and we're going to have to do that. But anyway, uh, say this is the actual trade. Um, let's see how much money we're going to make on this. And we're what we're going to do is actually utilize just, we're going to multiply it by 30 because that's how much we're importing. Uh, it'll be stuck on that for a little while until we sign another import. So boom, look at that. Look at that. 475, 200. That's how much money we are making on the export deal. So guys, the standard cost of apparel, I don't remember what it is. It's somewhere in between here, obviously. It may be close to like 12,000, 13,000. So the standard cost of apparel is right here, right? We're gonna do a little, it's kind of gonna look like the stock market. The standard cost is right here. We're buying way down here. We're buying for 97, 9570, 9,570, right? The standard cost is probably like 13,000. Well, we're exporting for way up here, off the charts, 15,000. 840 we're importing for 27 percent below the market value the standard cost and we're exporting for 20 percent above so we're saving look at that i mean we're this is how much we're importing it for this much exporting for this much over the course of time and our net income per 1k units for one shipment of a thousand units is six thousand two hundred seventy dollars so each time that freighter comes in after the first import, so we do the first import, nothing gets exported, then we export it. So your import's gonna be one shipment ahead. Then we then we gain uh, $6,270. And a quantity, again, this is important, quantity of 30,000, what does this mean? We're gonna do this, uh, we're gonna export, not just 1K, we're gonna export this amount 30,000 times, which equals this. E7, which is this cell right here, times 30. That's what that equals. And this should equal the same amount if we, if our correct calculations are correct. Boom. That equals the same amount. So we're gaining $188,000, $188 $188,100 on this trade, guys. $188,100 on this trade. How long does it take to complete? Roughly 10 years. Um, average trader time is about four months. I did this calculation. And 30,000 units of imports, it's actually 30,500, so it might take one additional cycle. 30,000 imports at, uh, equals 30 freighter cycles. What I, when I say freighter cycles, I mean, if you have more than one dock, you're gonna, it's, gonna, it's not gonna change anything. You're still gonna get the same amount. It's not gonna change the time. It's still gonna take the same amount of time. So even at one dock, two docks, probably, I don't even know. I think three docks, it's the same amount, uh, or four, I guess. 30,000 units equals 30 freighter cycles, 1K per cycle. That's basic math. One, 30 times 1,000 is 30,000. We get three freighter cycles per year, right? Every freighter cycle is about four months. So each year, 
we're going to export about 3 we're going to export about 3000 in quantity we're going to export 1000 every cycle we're going to export 3 cycles a year 1000 uh, times 3 is 3000 all right and now we got 30000 units on the deal so 30000 divided by 3000 this is the reason why I did this one is it's easy math and I forgot to hit the equal sign I did this because it's easy math for this one 30000 divided by 3000 is 10, 10 years, right? Hopefully that makes sense. And if it doesn't, feel free to ask some comments or ask some questions in the comments. And uh, guys, we're gonna get right into where we left off. All right, hopefully that makes a little more sense with the graphic, just kind of the breakdown of the numbers. You're gonna see exactly how much you're making. Uh, I'm gonna go back and record that. So I'm a little out of sorts right now because uh, I haven't actually recorded that part, but it's gonna be in there. So anyway, uh, let's check. Do we have any more? I had to reload the game real quick. Do we have, we had, we have more apparel. I didn't even notice that one. Wait a minute. Did I take that? Oh, I didn't take it. Yeah, I got to take that. There we go. <laughs> I got to sign that deal. I think that was it. All right. Yeah. We're just checking on the standings right now. We can praise USA. We're going to do that. We can praise Middle East. We're going to get, we're going to keep praising, man. Just till we keep getting this up. We didn't really have any good imports on that last month. So let's keep going. Another freighter coming in right at the beginning of December. Looks like, yeah, every four months is what it's looking. So how's standing now? We're at uh, 57 Russia. Everybody else is pretty good. Russia's the only I one that's not good. I would like you oh, look at this. Build Skyscraper. Did that so uh, do we have a fencing talk? We got I one left. You there you go. Water. There you go, Russia. I'll have that. Now let's look at trades. January 1946. What do we got? Let's look at trades. We do have canned goods. We can go ahead and accept this. That's a good one. Uh, we are producing canned goods. Let's accept that for sure. Uh, do we have any rum? We're producing Look at all the rum. We have a lot of rum. Now, what about imports? Again, we can... Oh, cars. That's a great one. Do we have... Oh, we do have cars to Russia. So, here's another one we could do. We don't really have a great... Uh, we don't have a great export on this one. So, we're just going to import it, man. We're going to import cars, and we're going to export it at base cost until... We, we could go ahead and do it. I'm not going to worry about documenting this one. That's kind of the same thing we did with apparel. Uh, we're going to import 14,500 cars, total discount of $111,000, hell yeah. Uh, we're going to export, uh, how much did I import? 14,000, perfect. So we're exporting, try to make sure your exports are lower or even with your imports, or else like right here for apparel, uh, we, we're importing 30,500, we're not producing it, so we're going to have a leftover, we're going to have 1,500 left over right here on the exports that's just going to sit there until we import 1500 more because there's a difference here we're going to be short 1500 so this one's perfect because we're not going to be short we'll go ahead that's not the best deal it's not the best export but it'll be it'll it'll go through pretty quickly that's only 12,000 uh let's see what else do we have you can see that that edict we did for meat is up there uh banana corn Furniture? Do we have furniture exports? We don't. Uh, we just signed a USA one, right? Do we have anything else? We got. We need like to get. We got. Uh, we got one of each. Look at that. We got one of each going on. We'll go ahead and take the furniture. We'll take the 1800 though to keep the standing going. Uh, iron. That's probably gonna be a lot. Eh. Pineapple. That's a lot. Tobacco. That's a lot. Wool. That's a lot. I'm not gonna worry about any of those. I'm looking for luxury deals on these trade routes. Uh, who's the worst standing? Looks like China. We'll go ahead and take rum for China. Uh, we could probably go ahead and take Middle East as well, actually. Oh, they're at 89. Eh, we'll take Middle East as well. We'll get that exported pretty quickly. So again, guys, we're just playing right now. Uh, we're going to really break this down. What, what we're going to look for is seeing if we can get like five... If we can get five luxury deals going on at the same time, we're going to be making a ton of money just on trading, guys. It's crazy. Another fire. My lord. Okay. So you can see we've got... What are we, what, what we going to drop a little bit here? Yeah, look at that. We got 35000 in, but we dropped some. Because look at how much we just imported. <laughs> we got 56000 now suddenly sitting in. So when you first sign those imports, you're going to drop. You're going to take a hit when you first sign those imports. And we also just ex, uh, transported 100 furniture out to the grocery, I guess. Or the sh shopping mall, which I don't have yet. Uh, but let's watch this, guys. Let's watch this come in. This is going to go up. Now we're going to see the profits. Look at this. 
a little bit better that time. Yeah. So we're going to see the profits. It's 57,000 coming in, but we're going to start breaking even because we're importing all of this and exporting it for a better cost. Like, look at all this. 46,000 apparel exported. Imports, uh, 28,000. Dude, that's so much money that we're saving. We just imported 28,000. That might actually be a little behind. I'm not sure. It's based on the last 12 months, but we, just look at the graph. The numbers don't lie. I, I'm telling you, man. And what'll happen is, you remember that dip we took when we first did the import? Well, when we complete the import, we're gonna have something, we're gonna have the export that'll catch up. So that dip we took with the import, we're gonna balance out with the export. So, yeah, we're gonna keep going, man. Let's just stay here, we'll allow the citizens to vote. Fulfill trade route with you, that's an easy one. Oh my God, man, look at all these freaking demands. We can also take standing, let's take plus 10, let's utilize our broker, we'll do the convincing talks while we're here. Utilize your broker, man, he's there for a reason. Unless you just are having restrictions where you don't utilize the broker at all. Alright, we got the rum deal. That's good. What are our, what's our standing? Look at this, man. 100, 100, 186, 85. 86 Russia, 85 EU. Let's see if we can praise both of them. Let's see if we can get everybody up near 100 EU. There's Russia. They're up to 98 EU. Up to 98. Look at this, guys. Look at the standing. We're go we're Once you get to this point, you're pretty, you're pretty set, man. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We can also flip the exports if you want to export for a better cost than import. And it really really doesn't matter. I think the import, you actually save more money. So we got import of cheese. Do we really want to do that? Come on, let me get some better ones. We, we don't really... Uh, furniture, that's another good one. Uh, but we, were not, we don't have any exports for furniture at the moment. Which is fine. We can go ahead and sign that deal. You're still... You're going to make a lot of money on these imports, guys. I promise. We'll sign the top quality or quantity, I mean. Uh, pineapple. We do have rum here. Rum does make a lot of money, and even though we're producing it, we can still export it. All right, Nothing New Year. Security like oh my God. Well I don't care about that. Uh, another demand. Another fire. What's what's new in the world of Tropico? All right, let's see what we got. Boats is a good one. I would love boats, cigars. Well, we got a lot of exports. Do we have any imports now? Do we have any imports? Let's see. Do we have any imports? We have a juice. That's not the best. It's still fine. It's not the best. The best ones, uh, cars Cars are a great one. We really don't have anything this year. Okay, you know, we're going to take the year off and just let things catch up. Yeah, we don't have any good imports this year. I don't really want to do juice. That's a lot of... I mean, the thing you want, guys, is the cars. Very low volume, but high, high revenue. Look at the standard income per 1K units of cars. 28000 versus 9000 for rum. It's insane. Cars are one of the best deals you can have. And we got that going right now. So we're just going to wait and go to the next year. And this might be a good time. Oh, look at this. Another demand from China, man. Let's just use these convincing talks. We'll get that one. You have done as we are. All right, January. Do we have... Let's see. We've got three available slots. Let's see if we can get... Uh, like, Let's see if we can get something good. Um, chocolate. Eh. Chocolate's not bad. We're looking for luxury goods, like jewelry is a good one. Look at that, 16,000. That's that's the mark you want to look at, 16,000. That's a good one. Pharmaceuticals, that's not bad. Could it be better? Uh, so jewelry is a good one. Weapons, weapons are pretty good. I'm just looking at, what we're looking at is standard income per 1K units. The higher that is, the better. We're spending the big bucks right now. We're all out spending the big bucks. Do we have, something might be happening in our customs office. Hang on a second. I feel like we had... Oh my god, my mouse. Ah, uh, come on. I gotta invite the foreign worker. So our import has dropped a little bit. It's down to 25. Oh, jewelry, jewelry. Hello, Middle East. We'll write this one down. This is a good one. So we got 25... 21.5. And let's look at the export. 29, yikes. Alright, well, we may, we may have to... You know what? We'll, 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 we'll do it. We'll be fine. We'll just import more jewelry later on. So 21,588,000. Uh, all right, let's do that. And let's look at the notes, guys. So we got basically right now, we've got apparel. That's still going. Apparel is still going. Rum is still going. And jewelry. And cars. We have four of them. We've got apparel, cars, jewelry, and rum right now. Furniture, if we could find an export for furniture. Hold on, I didn't even look at that. Oh, look at this. <laughs> furniture. Perfect. Uh, you know what? Let's take. Let's just do the nine thousand, uh, just because I don't want to have to find another import. 
Although furniture is pretty good. We'll just take the 9,000. Maybe we'll find another. We'll kind of, we'll, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. Now we have no trades. So we're pretty much locked in right now with rum. We're locked in with apparel. We've got another 18,000 to go there. We've got another 37,000 to go there. No. Oh my God, my math. 35,000. Uh, I got another 31,000. We just started this one. And what was the other one? I guess that's all of them. Cars. Well, we're almost done with the cars, though. We only have 5,500 left with that. So, anyway, guys, I hope this is making sense. We could do a part two if it's not. <laughs> I'll come back and we'll talk about our um, we'll talk about our little chart we just made again. Let's see what we get coming out on the imports. You see, 83,000 exports right now. 84,000 exports. We're at 1.12. Now we're at 1.15. And look at that, dude. 95,000. That's all just straight up. No, no, I mean, we could fire all our teamsters if we want and just utilize trading. Uh, the, the, the only thing in here that we're producing is cheese. Now we just added more rum. We added coconut. We're adding things. It's going up to 102 now. So we're adding a little bit, but about 90, 90% and above. 90% and above right now of our revenue from here. And now it's revenue is trades 90,960 that's going to be coming in every year for or every shipment for at least like five more um so yeah anyway just it's fine man it's we're now up to 1.2 million you just keep this going and keep advancing your economy i mean you're pretty much like unless this has an exclamation point you literally we don't even have to do anything now we have maxed out our trading we don't even have to do anything and we're making, I'll show you guys the money we're making just on the three examples. We'll utilize the jewelry and the ROM. So, all right, guys, this will be the last section of the video here. I just wanted to document the additional, one of the additional trade routes we signed. Uh, I don't remember what superpower was. It doesn't matter that much as long as they're in good standing. Uh, and I think the import was minus 25. The export was plus 20. Uh, so you can see I wrote down these numbers right here. Import cost, same deal as apparel. We signed the import for 12375 signed the export for 19800 That gives us a profit of 7425 It's just this number minus this number. That's all it is. We can double check our math. There you go, 7425 So that's net income per 1K units. And again, what's what this means Net income per 1K units means you're getting this much money every single time a freighter comes through if you only have one dock. Now, if you have two docks, it's going to be half that money times two, which is the same amount. It really doesn't matter. But if you only have one dock, every four months, you're getting 7425 plus that same deal over here, $6,270. Uh, the difference in this one, we, we gain a little less money total, uh, but the, because the quantity is less and, and in time, it takes less time to complete so yeah we gain a little less money but it's less time for the trade and we can actually you're actually gaining more money uh we can do this here uh seven we can we can document how much we're making per year let's go uh this no 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 this let me do this here that divided by 7.5 is going to give us that's how much money we're making about how much money we're making every year. It takes seven and a half years to complete this. Divide that number by seven and a half. That's how much money you're getting every single year just by signing a trade route. And if you do five of these around this quantity, I mean, this one, may, it may be a little less. And we can also do, let's look at this one, make sure it's on the screen. Um, that divided by 10, eight, 18,810. We can make sure our math is correct. So like I said, three freighter cycles per four months. So let's take that number multiply it by three and we should get the same amount yeah eighteen thousand so we're making twenty one thousand and eighteen thousand on these two trade routes alone every single year i mean that is just easy profit we're not even having to produce anything we don't need any workers we don't have any overhead costs and you can still build up your industry you can still build up your tourism if you do trading and do say you only have if you have four trade routes similar to this we had one for rum we can get one for electronics we can get one for boats for weapons it might take some time and eventually the deals are going to run out. So you really got to stay on top of it. But you can get up to, I'd say you can get up to about 100,000 a year almost if you do it right. And it may not be, you're just going to have to check the trade routes. And anyway, guys, I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, just feel free to comment. This has been a long episode to record, but I have had fun with it, man. I've been wanting to do this for a while. So like I said, this may be a pretty long episode. Um, feel free to, you know, 
leave comments, questions, concerns, feedback, likes, subscribe, every YouTube thing that you can say. Like I said, <laughs> hope y'all enjoy. Hope y'all having a great day, and we'll get this video out right away as soon as the uh, as soon as it comes uh, comes along. So guys, enjoy. Have a good day.